Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today is episode 9 of our golf weekly news show called The Draw. I'm sitting out here in my beautiful office. People ask me why I do it outside and I say, why not? So it's such a beautiful day out here in Central Florida, about 83 degrees, starting to get a hint of fall in the air, so enjoying this weather. All right. Things that are happening in the golf world as of last week we had that was the first week of three weeks that the PGA Tour will be in Asia. They played in Malaysia last week in the CMB Classic and Mark Leishman won with a 26 under par. They took it pretty low on this course. I think he won by five, 21 under par was in, came in second. He's had this would be his fourth PGA Tour win and he's also had 12 professional wins. He is also Rookie of the Year in, the, in 2009 on the PGA Tour. He's got a great flowing swing, great rhythm, great ball striker. Uh, just an all-around good game. Big guy, hits a long ways. So uh, look for good things to happen for him going forward this year. A lot of great players playing some good golf at this point in their career. Also in the golf world, wow, this is a big announcement. Johnny Miller announces his retirement from being a golf TV commentator. He did it for 29 years as the NBC lead golf analyst. He made his debut in 1990. He's had eight Emmy nominations for Outstanding Sports Personality. He's done 14 Ryder Cups. He's tele done commentating for 20 US Opens, 29 Player Championships, and he also did the 2016 Rio Olympics. Uh, also, as a player, Wow, he had a great career. 25 PGA Tour wins, two major championships. He held the lowest round ever shot in a major championship with a 63 up until last year. Justin Thomas shot a 63 and on a Saturday round in a major championship. Johnny Miller did it on a Sunday to win. So uh, just a great feat and what a great player, great announcer. The game of golf is gonna miss him. He's gonna do his last commentary um, for the Phoenix Open, the Waste Management Tournament. That's always fun. That'll be in January. I think that's on Super Bowl Sunday. So we will miss him, but what a great career he's had. So I want to move on to our quote this week. I really like this. We're going to talk about this a little bit too, as we did last week. And it goes like this. Success in golf depends less on strength of body than upon strength of mind and character by Arnold Palmer. That is so true. Uh, I watch a lot of tournaments. I've played in a lot of tournaments. I was talking to one of my friends the other day and you know, rarely do you just have that perfect round where you go out there and everything's just hunky-dory and uh, it's easy going. I mean, we do have them every now and again, but it's not very often. So you have to fight adversity and it's what you have in here and in your mind, you know, to overcome those things and stay positive and not get down on yourself and to keep persevering and, and, and battling and grinding out there when everything is going against you. That really shows your true character. So, you know, if you're a junior out there and, you, and you've, you've had those rounds where you may have given up and you know you didn't fight for it, you know, don't take that as a negative. Just know, hey, it's not easy. Just for the next round, you need to go out there and play and you have something negative happen, just have a game plan of you're gonna battle back. You're gonna move on to the next shot. You're gonna do the best you can. You're gonna look forward to that chip or that shot out of the woods or whatever it is. If you get in a divot and you're like, oh man, I'm getting all the bad luck. And everybody has that happen. It's how you, you know, come out of it and how you think about that situation. You can turn it around. You're gonna have good stuff happen to you too, but you can't have that black cloud over your head. So mental toughness in golf is, it's huge. You have to work on it. It's easy to get down on yourself. You have to work on being positive. And uh, good luck with that. I, I, that's what this, this quote means. So that's what's great about this game of golf. It, it will test a lot about your personality. All right, my next segment, I'm going to run all three of these together here. We got Rants and Raves edition I always do and also a product review. And I'm going to start off with the rants, and it's going to all be based off of uh, U.S. Kids Golf Clubs. And my rant is, I've been teaching golf a, a long time, and when you get a junior golfer that is just starting, and to not 
get some clubs. I know money can be an issue. We don't want to, if you're just starting, you don't want to invest in some clubs, but you also don't want to get something that's cheap and that's not good, that's going to hurt, actually hinder them from wanting to do the game because there's some inexpensive junior clubs out there that you can get and the head weights are heavy. It just, I mean, you can't swing it and then put, to put that in their hands and to have them hit it, I, I've seen it go wrong and negative in a bad way and that's not how we want to introduce the game to our kids. I understand the fact that we want to save money, but you know, bar some clubs, you know, a lot of, a lot of PGA facilities or when you go to golf clubs or facilities, you, you can find some US kids golf clubs or some clubs that are light that will fit them. Um, and we want them swinging some clubs. They're gonna they're gonna have a chance to be able to hit it. They're lightweight, and they're gonna have fun with it. So, not really too bad of a ramp. But I just want to. That's more of a like a FYI for you. You know, if you're a parent out there and you don't have clubs, see, seek out some people that have played the game and have kids, and see if they have some extra clubs to maybe borrow, or some PJ pros ask them if they have some from the to borrow while they're trying the game. If you're doing a junior camp whatever I understand that I'm a father as well so I, I get that so and I, I've lent out a lot of clubs to some junior players for them to see if they like the game and it's been very successful on my end from doing that uh, the rave is about US kids golf clubs I personally have used it for all my students that were willing to buy them for over 20 years and the overall response has been very positive they're just a great company. The clubs are light. They're meant for kids. My my two sons, they they've I've got a garage full of U.S. kids clubs, and it's just easy for kids to swing them. And they're made. You know, one thing I like about the company is that they're the only company in the world that makes clubs specifically for juniors. That's all they do. Their money that they have in the research and development department is for for the the design and getting the right weight, the length for different weight kids, strength level kids, and their height. So it's just a great, great set of clubs. And actually, they're not they're not that expensive. You can get different. They have different makeups of sets of five. You can get all the way to 14, but they got them from ages two to 16. So you're able to go on their website and check it out. They have the height and inches that you know for the player you know the player level or the beginner or the more advanced elite you know and then uh, at the clubs are easy to look at and order online and, and they're not too expensive like I said but uh, they're perfectly weighted that's what makes it the big difference than the uh, than the other sets I've seen is you get too much head weight and then the shafts get real flimsy and that's just not too easy to swing so their mission that they have at US Kids Golf, you can look at it on their website, but is to make the game easier and more fun for young players around the world. And that pretty much sums it up. I've had nothing but positive experiences with them. So that's Rants Rays. My product review is about that company and about those clubs. And I highly recommend you check it out and get more info on it. The website is definitely easy to look over and uh, I think you'll be glad you did. So, for more great information on equipment, instruction, I got videos, vlogs, vlogs on barnhillgolf.com.